pull them back and it should pop right out. Yep, I'm right. So there's two little prongs here, just use two fingers, pull them back, and that card should pop upwards, then you can take it out. All right, now that we have that out, we can proceed to take off this here, the uh, media bar. Use that, you're gonna want a flathead screwdriver again, or a plastic tool. And right back here, or first you're gonna wanna put your screen as far back as it'll go. Then with your screwdriver, there's two little cracks here. Just use it to gently pry it up all along the way, all along the back of the laptop. Might take some effort, but remember to be careful not to scratch anything. And eventually, it should just come right out. remember to be very careful with this. All right, now that it's out, once again, there's this little ribbon cable here. Just undo the connector. In this case, my, oh, it's a flip up connector, so flip the connector back towards you and the, media, and the uh, ribbon cable should just pop right out. So that's your media cable. Now that that's out, you're gonna to wanna to switch over again to your Phillips head screwdriver. And there are five screws, one, two, three, four, five. They're really small, and they will hold the keyboard in. I would recommend as you take out the screws, take them out of the laptop and set them aside. Because when I've taken this thing apart in the past, I've left, I've left them in the keyboard and they've fallen out and I've lost them. I was able to find them again, but it was a real annoyance when I was first doing it. three, that's four, and that's five. Awesome. Okay. Now the keyboard should be free. Slide it away from you. Lift it up. And if you look underneath it, you'll see that there's another ribbon cable, and this time it's in the motherboard. You see that? And there's also another ribbon cable over here. Um, both of these use flip-type connectors, so if you look behind the ribbon cable, it's kind of hard to show. But there's a, just like you had on the media bar, how it flipped out towards you. So just pull it back and lift it out, and you'll have the ribbon cables out for each of them. There you go. So that's your keyboard. Um, all right, I'm running low on battery. Hopefully we'll be able to get it in. I'm not sure if we will. Um, if not, I'll just cut the video. Um, all right, that's a better view. Hopefully you can see that. Um, anyhow, here we got both our video cards. This, they're both 4870 mobilities with a gigabyte each of GDDR3 memory. This is our SLI cable going in between them, and this you can see the top of the CPU cooler. So the first thing we're going to want to do is there's these two little braces, this black one and this black one here, holding in the video cards. Well, at least they're, they're holding the heat sinks. So there's two screws, one here one here on each of them. And you're going to want to undo those to take out this, this brace. There's one brace out. Here's another brace coming out. Alright, and the next thing you want to do before you take out the video cards, you see this, this well, it's a crossfire cable in this case, because it's ATI video cards. From this video card, it's your master, that's your slave. From the master video card, you're just going to want to gently peel it up and unhook it from the cross power port and then very gently peel it back. It's held down with sticky tape so that's completely clear. Okay. And then to take this video card out, there's just one screw right here and another.
another screw. And that'll take out your video card. I'm not going to do it in this video, but if you wanted to repaste the, uh, the video card, um, there's four screws here for the heat sink. You take that off and you'd apply new thermal paste to help get your temperatures down. Um, these video cards, they are MXM 3.0B. Um, the slots in the computer can handle up to 75 watts of draw. So that means that they should be compatible with any MXM 3.0B video card that draws up to the level 75 watts. So you won't be able to put a GTX 480M, you're probably not going to be able to put a GTX 485M in here because they draw 100 watts. Um, I was hearing rumors that the 6970 Mobility also draws 100 watts. That's your, um, this is your slave video card by the way, with the SLI cable. Um, so you're not going to be able to put a 6970 in there. You might be able to put a 6950 in here and you're definitely going to be able to put a 6870 in here or 6850. Um, as of right now, there's no support for those cards in the BIOS, but hopefully you will be able to, or, or Dell will release a, a BIOS upgrade or update for those cards. You will be able to put HD 4870s like I had in here, 5870s, you'll be able to put the GTX 260M and the GTX 285M. You'll also be able to put the GTX 460 mobilities in here. I know a person who tried that and they worked. And you... I haven't been able to confirm this, but I'm fairly convinced that you'll be able to put the GTX 470s in here um, without without altering the BIOS. Um, there's a guy who got it to work for the M15X, so I think it'll work for the M17X. That's actually what I'm going to end up doing when I get enough money. I'm going to swap out these video cards for the GTX 470s. Um, Alright, so now that we have the video cards out, Next thing you want to do, you're going to want to do is these cables here for your your wireless cards. There's a little slot through here. Just feed them. You can put your screen back a little bit so the laptop doesn't fall over. Just feed those out. There's a little notch here. Just take this cable all the way back to the screen. There you go. All right. And if you pull the servant cable back, you'll see two connectors. They have little blue tabs, just pull them out, just like that. This one here, this one is your video cable. This one here, I think that's for your webcam and your microphones and your backlit Alienware light thing. Alien head, that's what it is. All right, now that you have all those cables out, next thing that you're gonna wanna do is this whole gray and black plastic thing, it'll come out um, so you can get it, your CPU heat sink and the rest of the motherboard. Um, to do that, there are a bunch of screws. There's one here, 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 and here. So undo all of these screws. I took apart a uh, Dell XPS M1730. I remember that they use the exact same material for this this plastic part. It's not quite plastic. It's it's something else. It's it almost feels metal, like a like a cheap graphite type thing. I'm I'm not exactly sure what it's what it's supposed to be, but um I've never seen this in any other laptop other than the M17X. Or not the M17X, the M1730, the XPS from Dell. Remember that a long time ago? 